back everyone to another episode of Mumbles. Today, we're doing a game review. And the game that I'll be reviewing today is Super Inefficient Golf. It's golf with bombs, guys. It's really cool, and I love these kind of games. This game is available on Steam, and I reviewed it on Steam, obviously, since that's the only thing it's available on. It costs $4.99 in the Steam Marketplace. So now let's get into the meat and bones. This is going to be a short one, guys. First off, graphics in this game, they're very nice. There's nothing spectacular about them, but they are very nice. They're, they're nice and calming, and they're just a nice offset to the actual gameplay itself. Soundtrack, it's a nice little soundtrack. You could play your own music over it and have the same effect, but... The soundtrack is nice all in all. Finally, the controls. The controls in this game, when I first played it, I was like, what do I do? But then about five minutes later, I figured it out. And after that, they're great. I just can't say enough about the controls. They're really good in this game. Now let's talk about the gameplay itself. This is golf with bombs. Basically, how this works is, it's a, it's a normal game of golf. But it has bombs. So, when you start off, you place bombs on your ball. You can place one wherever you want, or four wherever you want, or however many, wherever you want. And then, instead of swinging a golf club at it, you hit your button and it explodes. Now, when it explodes, your ball goes flying. You have the ability, because you have different colored bombs, to explode different things at different times. So maybe you want to go to the right, up in the air, but the hole is behind a wall and you have to go back the other way. You could put a green set of bombs going forward and then a blue set of bombs that you blow up after you get past that wall going backwards. There's four different colored bombs that allows you to do a lot of different things, but the ultimate goal of this game is to get your ball in the hole in using as few of bombs as possible and as few of turns as possible. So the the faster you do that, or the, the better you do that, the higher your score is gonna be. Now all in all, there's 18 levels in this game. It's not a huge game, but it's not a huge cost, so you can't expect a lot from it. Will they update it with more levels? I don't know, but at the time of this review, 18 levels, 18 fun levels. You have a leaderboard that you can shoot for the best. I spent literally like two hours trying to beat the top score and I never did. I got to like fourth on the leaderboard in one map and that was all I could do. I don't understand how people can get less. <laughs> Anyways, the, there is a leaderboard that you can compare yourself to and, and, and do all that stuff. It's just a fun game. Whenever they do wacky game, I love wacky games like this guys. So I have really nothing but good things to say about it here. Now let's get into the cons. The only real con of this game is that it's short. It's short and I wish they had a little bit better of information on how the scoring went in the game. Because at first I was like, if I use 15 bombs, is that gonna count? Oh, it does count against me. Oh, if I do this, is that gonna count? Oh, it does count against me. So it's kind of a learn as you go type thing. And I think that if they would have just put a page of rules, that we could have followed them a little bit better. But those are the only two cons, guys. That's it. So for a game like this, I loved it. And I gotta say, I'm gonna be rather generous in the scoring section of this review. Super inefficient golf, bombing your way to victory. You're gonna get a seven out of 10 for me. I wish there was more. That's the only reason I'm giving it a seven out of 10. I want more. I want more than 18 levels. I want I want 30 levels. I want 40 levels. I want 50, I want more. I wanted them to use a Steam Workshop. Let people build levels. Come on, please, please, please use a Steam Workshop. Let people build levels. That would be so awesome. I would play that game. I'd play the crap out of that game. But seven out of 10, 4.99. Check it out, guys. If you like mini golf games, 
you're gonna love this game. It is so much fun. I love wacky games like this. Anyways, guys, it's been another episode of Mobiles. I wanna thank you all so much for joining me. Please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, and smack all those buttons. Now, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.